Hi guys, I'm welcome to a new video. Today I'm Sam's Clicks S and Edge with me, and today we are going to take a look at the Project Dream ROM version 1.3, the Galaxy S8 full port for the Sam's Clicks S7 and the 7 Edge. So this here is a full port. This means that um, the whole system of the Galaxy S8 is ported to this device here. And this means that you will get everything from the Galaxy S8. So each menu or everything will just look like the Galaxy S8. You can see you also got the S8 um, always on display here. Um, but the thing is that this sensor here doesn't work because the Galaxy S8 hasn't got that um, pressure sensor here. Um, but overall everything else is working just fine here in the always on display. So we can double times press on there and here we got some different modes for example and yeah so this is, this is the um, S8 style always on display which looks just nice and this here is the new um, lock screen. So the nice thing about this thing about this lock screen here is that you got three notifications visible here. So in the stock nougat of the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, you were able to see only two notifications on the lock screen. Now you are able to see three notifications here. Another nice thing of the uh, lock screen is that you have different pages here. So you can go to the music player here and to your clock. So this is really nice here. And you also got a different animation here when you um, unlock your phone. So this here is the always on display menu. So here you can see that you got this S8 um, always on display together with this edge clock here. So here you can change the position of the clock and you can also change the color of course and all that. And right, you can also enable a uh, digital clock here. You can change the um, style of your clock. You can change the color and yeah. You can also say, say um, show only home button and you can see now that the always on display will only show up this home button at the bottom here but actually as I said already this uh, home button does not work on the Galaxy S7 because we haven't got that sensor over there but actually it does also look really um, stylish in my opinion. So now let's move on to the home screen here. So on the home screen you can see that you got the S8 launcher of course because this is a full S8 ROM and you also got the S8 um, wallpaper here, this live wallpaper which looks really amazing here as you can see. So there are no issues with this S8 wallpaper and yeah of course you get that um, S8 style Google um, search bar there together with the, this um, S8 style weather widget. And yeah, of course you also got the Bixby um, app here. So I've, I had already reviewed this Hello Bixby thing. You can basically watch this video also. I will leave um, a link for that in the description of this video. And right. So as this one here is a full S8 ROM, you also get S8 um, icons and S8 um, apps. So all of the apps are ported from the Galaxy S8. As you can see, the system here is also from the S8 without that search bar at the top. And Right, so here we have um, the phone app for example, you can see that you got three tabs over here. Um, so you can basically, uh, you have the recent uh, calls, the contacts and your places, um, which you can share with your contacts. And yeah, another nice thing is that you have new um, animations here. So if you open for example the phone app again, here you can see that you have this um, nice animation. So here you can see that the app opens from this icon here and it also goes back to this icon which looks just nice. So here we got the camera, so the camera is also ported from the Galaxy S8. So this is the S8 camera of course. Um, we got that um, new updated UI here with these effects here, so now they are at the bottom and we got the new modes. As you can see it has a plenty of modes available and you can also download new mo uh, modes from the, um, Galaxy the uh, from the Galaxy Apps Store. And you also got um, this zoom here, which works just nice. So as you can see, it's really nice. And right. Another nice thing in the camera app is that you got um, something new called 
floating camera button. So if you enable this one here, you can see that you got this um, camera button there and you can basically press on it to take a picture. So it's maybe easier to take a picture um, with this way if you hold your phone in with your left hand here. Um, it's basically easier to reach this button than this button at the bottom here. And it's also nice to see this thing here added on the Galaxy S8 camera. On the bottom right corner we also got something similar to, to these Snapchat filters here so you can enable um, a, um, a uh, dog filter or a cat filter which is just funny to see here. So now let's take a look at all of the other apps here. So as I said already, all of the apps got updated to the S8 apps here. For example, the clock is also the same as on the Galaxy, uh, as on the Galaxy S8. For if we go into about clock here, you can see it's version 7.0.7. .7. And yeah, almost every each app got updated to the S8 um, app. Also the calculator got updated to a new version. As you can see, you got all that unit converter things here, which we haven't got on the S7 usually. And yeah, you can also see that um, nice animation when you close an app here. This uh, new iOS style animation. Um, for example, if you open the settings and close it, you can see this nice animation there. And yeah. So now let's move on to the recent apps section here. So here you can see that um, your recent apps got much bigger here. So this looks really amazing on this phone here. And if you close the recent apps panel here, you can see that it's much smoother than it was on the stock Nougat here. So it is really smooth here. And you also got this three dot menu here, um, which is really nice. So here you can go to the settings here and you can enable this um, pop up uh, view action or this, um, or this multi window thing. So if you press the um, recent apps button for some seconds here. So let's do that. So here you can see now it will open this multi window thing here, which works really nice on this ROM. On the recent apps panel, you also got something called um, lock apps. So here you can lock some apps which you won't clear. So if you say lock the settings here and lock the calculator, and if you say done, you won't be able to. Um, this um, you, um, you won't be able to clear them uh, with pressing on the close all button so as you can see this things um, still there but if you swipe um, them to the right they will be gone too and there's also a small other thing which is um, which uh, which is funny here on the recent apps panel so there's something um, to pin um, an area of an app to the top so if you select something if you select um, some area here and if you say done here you can see that this thing will be on the top here which looks just um, funny here. So I also want to mention that this ROM is really smooth like hell so there are no lags and compared to other um, full S8 port ROMs this ROM is maybe the smoothest one and also the battery life is quite okay on this ROM so it's not as good as on um, on the bloated touch with based ROMs uh, or um, stock based ROMs but this here is also really good here and it's really smooth so now let's take a look at the RAM management here so let's get into the device maintenance here let's go to memory and here you can see that um, it uses like 2.1 uh, gigabytes of the whole RAM which is about the half of the Galaxy S S7 which is um, okay so it's not the best one which you can get but it's really good for an S8 port ROM. So the last thing I want to show you on this ROM is the secure folder. So the secure folder was not working on the previous version of this ROM, so in 1.2, but now it's working a bit. So it does not work fully, but um, it works a bit, as I said. So here you have um, the apps which are protected and you can basically open the gallery here and as you can see it says no items and you can add some new um, things to the gallery. You can also add some new apps and you can also add some new fi um, audio files and all that. And yeah, it's working, but sometimes you get some force clauses and this um, can be really annoying then. So now let me show you how to install this ROM. So to install this ROM you need TWRP uh, installed on your device. If you haven't already installed TWRP on your device you can basically watch some other videos on YouTube showing you how to install TWRP, uh, TWRP on your Samsung Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. So the first thing you need to do is to power off your device and boot into the recovery mode. 
To boost into the recovery mode, you need to press the volume up button, the home button, and the power on button at the same time. So now we are in the TWRP recovery, and the thing with uh, well, the first thing you need to do is to go to the wipe option and go to the advanced wipe and wipe the devlic, the system, um, the data, and the cage here. Just swipe the wipe. And right after that, go to the install option and locate your ROM. In my case, it's in the internal storage. Just press on it and locate it. In my case, here is in a download for, uh, or folder here. And this here is the ROM. Just press on it and swipe to flash. So now we are in the Aroma installer. Press next here. Say agree with this, press next again. Say flash ROM and choose your model. So I have the edge variant, so I need to press um, on this thing here, after that press next again, um, select your model again, oops. So here you can change your splash screen, so the first screen which you get when you turn on your phone. You can basically enable the Galaxy S8 splash screen or the Galaxy S8 um, Plus uh, splash screen, but now let's um, say same here, press next again. Here you can uh, choose your root method, I would recommend you to use the super user here and right. Here you can um, select your CSC, so I will select the one of Germany now. And right here you can get some other extra features, so I don't recommend you to use um, performance tweaks. Um, but you can use Airway for example to get rid of um, ads. And you can also enable or install the iOS emojis, because the stock Samsung emojis are really crap. And after that press next again, and now the ROM will just flash. So you just need to wait, this could take like... 4 minutes, maybe even longer than 4, four minutes, you just need to wait until it's finished. So the ROM uh, is installed now and the phone will just boot up. Um, so you need to wait again, so this could take like, again, maybe 4 minutes, maybe 5 minutes, you just need to wait until the phone boots up. So the ROM installation process is completed now and you now you just need to um, set up your phone. Um, so this was basically it. If you like the video give it if you like the video give it this if you like the video give it a thumbs up, if you didn't like the video give it a dislike and peace out.